Anne? No. My queen. Anyways, how's this one? What was that? Nothing, nothing. No. No? No, why pick that? Um, I don't know, Anne. It's not like it's called Best Bakers in Britain and your boo wants to see some experts at their craft bake with their wee little accents. Boo? You called yourself Boo? Yeah. Aw. <laughs> You're my boo! Stop that. Do you want to watch the English Make Muffins or not? That depends. Oh yeah? It depends on what? Would my queen like anything to eat? Yes. Muffins. Muffins? Yeah, you put it in my head. I did? I did, yeah, I can see how that happened. Now go, servant boy. Go fetch me some muffins. We have packets in the top left cabinet. Okay. Hey, Ann, could you get that? Yep. Oh my god, stop that! You're freaking me out! Could I talk to you in the kitchen real quick? Yeah. Give us a minute, please. Peter, who is that? What? Who is that? The guy with the face that looks like my... Your face? Like my face, yeah. That's weird, right? No. No? Yes, that's weird, Peter. It's so weird. Hey, man, what are you doing? What? Hey, man, what are you doing? Peter! Yeah. Oh, um... <clears throat> hey, man, what are you doing? Just go into my room? I'm sorry, sir, but I don't think you have a room here. Sir? I'm, I'm sorry, Anne. This just isn't making any sense. He know my name. He knows my name. Peter, he knows my... Okay, now we need to talk.
Am I the only one lost? I don't really understand it either. Do you remember anything else? No, honestly, I don't. Yet you remember me? Of course. Of course? What do you mean, of course? Of course doesn't even begin Anne, Anne, to Anne, cover- It's okay. I remember everything before this morning. After that, it's just not in here, but I could never forget you. Okay, let's not hold hands with my creepy doppelganger. Excuse me, why am I the doppelganger? Who's here first? Oh God, they're fighting. No, I don't want to fight. Are you sure about that? I'll be honest with yourself, Peter. I would just like a little more information, that's all. Well, I told you everything I know. No, you didn't. If you claim to be me, then tell me about me. Tell you about me? Tell me about us? Yes. Okay, Peter, well, I could tell you that I was born here 22 years ago in March, or that I studied chemistry at Hartford, but I mean, a web search would reveal that. Exactly. So what do you want? What food do I hate? Chicken Alfredo, or scallions. I had a favorite pair of shoes when I was, Never mind. What did they look like? They were red, white, and black. You were eight, and you loved them because they were the only pair of slip-on shoes that didn't make my, your feet hurt. Peter, this seems very convincing. Yeah, I know, I know. Okay, um, what, the best day of my life was June the 16th. The worst was two days before, but when June the 16th hit, my life changed. That day I was uh, walking in the park. I saw a beautiful blonde woman sitting on a park bench. She struck me instantly. I somehow convinced her to let me take some photos of her and later to get dinner, but that first moment stuck with me. You weren't nervous or shy. You were radiant and goofy. Above all, honest. You were the first person I could ever trust. And carry a photo with me every day to remind myself I was given something, someone that I, that I don't deserve. You are me. How did this happen? I, uh, you don't know. Sorry. The last thing I remember is, well, that really rude lady that cussed us out in the city after getting furniture. It was almost a week ago. And my, my arm really hurt from the flu shot the day before, but I, I guess it's better now. Wow, um, could I use the shower? Of course, it's... I know, yeah. So what do we do with him? Him? Peter, that's you. Did you not just hear him? Everything he said. Was true, yes, but I'm right here. He's not me. He's just as much you as you are. I don't know. Maybe even more so. What's that supposed to mean? I never knew about this. What happened two days before you met me? It doesn't matter, Anne. Where we, we don't know where this other Peter came from. There are so many unanswered questions. Like what happened, Peter? Don't push, Anne. 
What are we gonna do with him? Because I don't want him staying here. How could you be so selfish? If he's me, how am I being selfish? He is homeless and scared and has no form of identification. The government probably doesn't even know he exists. This should be an easy decision for you, yet you have to be so fucking stubborn. Why? He is you, I know it. We have no idea how he came to be, but he is you 100%. Oh yeah, how, how do you know that? How do you know, Anne? I knew it. Peter. So how's this gonna work, Anne? Do I get you Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, or will this be like a group thing? Sorry. Peter, he just said that he loved me. And you know what? Yes, yes, I do. I love him back. How could I not when you and him are basically the same person? Well, almost the same. But you know what separates you two from me? What weeds you out from him? Is that he's not afraid to say those three simple words. Look at you. Even now those words are a million miles from your lips. Now I can't wait for them any longer. Hear any of that? Most of it. Sorry, I borrowed some of your clothes. Don't be. They look good on you. You look honest. I trust you.
Sorry, this is uh, all I have. That's a shit ton of creamer. So, what's your deal? No deal? Everybody's got a deal. That girl over there? Or that guy? Or me? We've all got a hand from a dealer. Well, my my deal is confusing. That I I don't know if you'd understand. Okay. I see how it is. No, no, it's not like that. It's not that you wouldn't understand because you're you. It's well, I don't think anybody would understand because it's confusing. Try me. Okay, I, I guess I'll start at the beginning. It's like a worm, you know, and when a worm is cut in half, it'll uh, regrow. Are you trying to, like, Jesus me right now? What? Are you trying to Jesus me right now, throwing out all these parables? Yeah, I'm smart enough. I don't need parables. Okay. I'm a mistake. Join the club. No, not like that. that Though I am sorry for your position, not the position, just the, I'm just, yeah. I'm about to leave again. Please don't. What I mean is that my life doesn't belong to me. The Peter that I was is just a, a distant memory. I had to give him up and the one right here is just wallowing, angry. I'm so, I, you've probably been through so much worse than I have, and I have the audacity. Hey, 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 hey. Shut the hell up about me, okay? I know me. This is you we're talking about, so go on. I'm just, I'm in a haze, you know? And I try to escape it, but I just keep worrying about everything, about money or about how I treat people, you know, like you, and I just... I just, I just get angrier at myself and I start to hate myself and what I become. So, you're done? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, good. I'm gonna tell you what you're gonna do now. Because at this point, I don't think you'll ever tell yourself this shit. You're gonna get up, you're gonna get on that bus, once it gets here, you're gonna go home. You're gonna think. 
You're gonna think hard about, about yourself, about what you want. Nobody's gonna do that for you. I'm not gonna do that for you. You're gonna think and you're gonna find out that thing, that, that life that you wanna live, that piece of you that you wanna pass on and you make it happen. You're a good man. But you have to be honest with yourself. Thank you. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in again. This is episode 15 of the Thrive Podcast. I hope you're ready for this one because I have kind of a, uh, a crazy story to tell you. <laughs>